speaking to me now the victorious Anton Haskins. Uh, Anton, how do you assess your performance tonight? Um, yeah, it was a brilliant, it was a brilliant contest. I enjoyed every every round of it. You know, I had 99 problems, but that guy was not one of them. <laughs> he was tough. <laughs> he was a tough fighter, though. I take my hat off to him. He gave me a good test, and now on to the next. Uh, you seem to have hurt him a couple of times, especially in that first round. I mean, how, how close to get him out there do you think you were? Never five seconds. <laughs> that ref was jumping in. Even in the fifth round, I think it was, I hurt him again. And then he just got saved again by that ref. Lucky. I mean, were we, you we tempted to sort of have a go earlier in the round because the, the twice you had him sort of slightly rocked it was towards the end? Nah, not really. I like doing it. I, I don't fight that much, so. I'm a fighter, I love more rounds, you know, give me the more rounds, I'll show up. And, um, you know, give me a title shot next. Anyone with a title, I'm here. You know my name, give me a call. Okay then, so name some names, who would you like? I don't even know any names, <laughs> because they're not even on my interest list. <laughs> so, yeah, keep it going. So, uh, I mean, you obviously want titles, what sort of title are you aiming for next? I know, give me something there, give me English, you know. I'll give him great. I don't know. I'll, I'll jump straight into the deep end. You know, I believe I'm one of the best in Bristol, and now I need to prove I'm one of the best in England and then worldwide. Let's go. So, uh, you're fighting in. Oh, sorry, you're fighting in your hometown of Bristol tonight. Really good atmosphere. I mean, what was it like fighting in front of those fans? It's so good because I just enjoy it. So the more louder they get, the more happier I am. You know, he can hit me with all the biggest shots he would, and I was still there. He ain't pushing me away at all. And uh, obviously, the, the son of a, a world champion, I mean, that obviously brings its own pressure. Yeah, you know, I got a great trainer, and that's my dad, you know. So he knows all the tricks in the book. He knows how to become world champion, and I know how to be one. And uh, what, what sort of advice does he give you in sort of quiet moments away from the gym when you're at home? What type of things does he give you with tips? Be patient, put your head down, and concentrate on the future. That's it. Okay, we're just going to call your dad in here now. Do it nearly. I wouldn't expect to come on. <laughs> so, uh, what did you think of your boy Anton's performance this evening? I'm not just saying it because he's my son, but I believe he's a special talent. Um, you know, he's got all the attributes to be a great fighter. I think, you know, I think, I believe he could be a, he could be one of them. Um, you know, he's very comfortable in there. You don't really, uh, you don't really have nerves, or if, if not, you don't show them. I get all the nerves for him. I go through all that. After my career, I thought I'm finished with it. But um, no, I got to deal with it now with him. Um, you know, he's he does everything right in the gym. He does what's asked asked of him, and um, no, I do believe he's going to go on for to bigger things. We're asking now. We want a Southern Area title. We don't even know who the champions are. We don't know if there is any champions in Southern Area. But um, you know, we. We want that belt. We want that belt. We want to. Uh, we want to step up. And he's ready. He's on his. He just had nine fights, nine wins. Um, yeah, it's time to move on. I think for him. From a critical point of view, I mean, what advice would you give Anton based on tonight's performance? T tonight's performance. Uh, you know, just this, it, every fight he has, there's things we need to work on, and that's what we do. We're not. We're not shy of working hard, and we're not shy of going back to the drawing board and working hard. That's what we do at home. And me and him. We talk, we live together, we train together, and we work on everything. So we'll always go back working on little things. We have people filming it. His brother was there at ringside as well. His brother's a technician, absolutely loves it. And uh, he's picked a few things out that I've got to go in and work on with him. So that's what we'll do. We're a, we're a, we're, we're a tight unit, and um, we're always uh, looking at the drawing board. Uh, famously, father-son relationships in boxing can be a bit prickly at times. What's yeah. it like between you two? Nah, we're, uh, we don't get no, we don't get no problems. He listens well. I listen well. Um, you know, we're not just father and son. We're best friends. Um, yeah, and we do everything together. We, uh, we work hard together. We're in the gym every day, and um, you know, this is something he loves. Listen, he's 23. He's never had one drink of alcohol in his life. He never go. He don't go to the pub. He lives and breathes the sport. He's got a beautiful missus that he's been with for many years. So he's a very grounded young man. And, um, you know, he's ready to go to work. We're ready to get titles. That's what we want, don't we? And uh, finally, last word to you, Anton. Uh, what can the fans expect from you in the future? A big world champion. Future star. I promise.